Hi, this is Samson, Assistant Professor in Science College of Technology. Today we are going to discuss our, um, about the uh, continuation of the topic uh, of the lathe machines, right? So how the lathe machines has been uh, considered and how it has been developed, what are the basics of lathe machines, or we discussed in the previous sessions. Uh, now we are going to discuss about the upcoming session about uh, what is the basic aspects of lathe machines, how the construction has been taking place and how it has been plays a vital role in, uh, in um, uh, current modern industries. Uh, before going enter into your topic, I'd like to share the presentation. Uh, so please give me a minute to share my presentation. So today we are going to discuss about um, uh, lathe, right? Um, so th that is uh, before going to the lathe, uh, I would like to discuss something about what are the different type of lathes we are uh, discussing in the classes, right? Um, the first one is an engine lathe, second is uh, speed lathe, turn lathe, caption lathe, automatic lathe, and uh, computer and numeric control lathe. Uh, so these are some of the different type of lathes we are using in a common production industries. Um, so the important one of this is engine lathe or center lathe. It is common most type of lathe and is widely used in uh, lathe workshops. Um, the speed of the spindle can be widely varied as desired, which is not possible in a speed lathe. Um, and uh, when you go for a speed lathe, it is named because of very high speed of a headstock spindle. Uh, consists of uh, headstocks at a tail stock and tool post. Uh, and it has no gearbox. So that is the important thing. And uh, the main application of this is an uh, wood turning, mental spinning, and uh, operations are to be done it. And apart from that, bench lathe is there. It is the simplest small lathe uh, which can be mounted with, uh, from the bench workbench. Uh, it is used to make small precision and very light jobs. Um, so apart from that, uh, the automatic lathes are used on uh, the automatic lathes in which uh, the workpiece is automatic fed and removed without use of any, any operator. So it requires very less attention. Uh, after the setup has been made uh, and the machine can be loaded, uh, setup made the machine can be loaded easily. And the, going for the fourth one is current lathe. Uh, the current lathe is an adoption of engine lathe where uh, the tail stock is replaced by an Tarrant slider that is uh, the cylindrical or hexagonal shape structures. Um, the tool post of the engine lathe is uh, replaced by cross slide, which can be hold number of uh, various number of tools like various operation to be performed, like drilling or ramming or rimming or uh, chamfering or uh, making an internal thread or external thread. Everything has been done by using an uh, post uh, tool post of the engine lathe, uh, which is replaced by a cross lathe. And apart from that is caps and lathe. Uh, they are similar to turn lathe with the different, um, uh, what, is the, what is the different materials? Uh, what is the difference between both the current and is and the turn is not in fixed arm, but, uh, but moves on auxiliary slides and they are used for fast production of small products instead of large products they are using. Um, so this is how the central lathe has been like uh, done it right. So apart from that, the special purpose lathes are also used. Uh, tool room lathes are used. The tool room lathe is nothing but similar to an engine lathe are designed for obtaining accuracy. It is used for manufacturing of precision components or dies, tools, jigs, etc. And hence it is used as in a tool room lathe. Apart from that, the special purpose lathes like gap, uh, gap lathe, uh, instrument lathe, phasing lathe, flow turning lathe, heavy duty lathe, these are used for a wide variety of applications and used for specially of a special purpose. The important thing in a uh, lathe working principle is that uh, works on the principle of cutting tool can remove chips from rotating workpiece to produce a circular object. So this is the sample of uh, view of a uh, normal lathe. Uh, is can, can be set as a bench lathe, right? Um, this is the um, basic layout or basic structure how the lathe has been developed. Um, so these lathes are used to produce a various kind of operation conditions based on their cutting speed or based on workpiece material, based on depth of cut, based on the feed rate. This in the and also the depth of the cut and how the chuck has been rotating and uh, what condition of speeds and. Um, uh, material condition rates. Uh, these uh, these are kind of taken into consideration on the, how the chip has been flowed over the surface or uh, top surface of the work, uh, working tool. 
these are be taken into an operating considerations where everything has to be considered for developing a new products or new development. Uh, this is how the material has been uh, taken into a materials and consideration into an work piece and how it has been developed and how it has to be taken into a considerations are developed by using a major uh, product development. Uh, so in the next video, we are going to discuss about the working principles and constructions of an um, lathe. Uh, without any delay, we will move into a next video. Uh, give me a minute for uh, till that. Bye bye. Thank you.